I'm Jennifer Kale, Associate Professor in the Department of Dance, and this year Artistic Director of Dancers & Company. I'm really honored to contribute to the Dancers & Company tradition this year marking the 34th season of the company as the premier touring and outreach company of the department. I'm the only choreographer for the season and I'm building in collaboration with the dancers an evening length work. At first this year's season was going to focus on an area of my research which is collective action, the ideas and theories about how we do things together. But once we learned that the university's theme semester was on sustainability and they were calling it climate for change, I quickly realized that our studies in collective action have a lot to do with sustainability. Both in and out of the studio, we've spent the year asking these types of questions, researching our themes, and in the creative research, invoking the theories, the stories, and the evidence to take form in the bodies of the dancers, in the body of the work. We're calling it Collective Energies. And the work draws on images of both people power and material energy, it considers some structures of renewal, of momentum, cooperation, and abstention. Creating sustainability won't be achieved purely through science. It's also a human project that asks us to change how we organize ourselves. So for this reason, the setting, the objects, the sounds and structures of the work are both elemental, you could say, of, of the elements, and also man-made. We're using symbols of natural ecosystems and also symbols of social order. The second half of the Dancers & Company concert is a work entitled I Intend That We. In three really short works, the dancers will engage in a kind of spontaneous coordination and decision making to create this so-called instant choreography. Together with some professional colleagues, I've spent decades figuring out a training for this and so the compositional improvisation training schools the dancers in what we call ensemble thinking one question we've asked is can these ensemble thinking skills be translated beyond the studio maybe towards social or civic activities if we could translate and share our knowledge could it inform and better support our capacity to do things together both within and beyond the artistic contexts